welcome back to the show. This tour records has quickly become Canada's premier label for hardcore bands including Alexis on Fire, Cancer Bats and Johnny Truant. The reason for the label's success? The family vibe of the label and the passion of the founder, Greg Bello. <laughs> Talk to me about the real Greg. What's he like? Well, other than being the biggest man on the planet, yeah. he's the biggest individual I've ever seen in my life. He's a pretty intimidating guy. Yeah, I've seen him kick ass before. Like, you don't, you don't want to mess with this guy. <laughs> Yesterday, like, I nearly got a gun out and shot him. I was so scared. <laughs> Thought it was a big T-Rex coming towards me, but it wasn't. It was him. So I ran up and gave him a hug. <laughs> he's lovely. He's, a, he's an awesome dude, man. He's like. Heart's in the right place, and he does it all for the right reasons. Just a, just a really pleasant guy. He invented metal as a genre, metal. Yeah, yeah, he, he started it. It was him. I think Greg was the original guitarist in Black Sabbath. I've heard that. I've definitely heard that. I heard the rumor that you actually created metal as a genre. Any basis to that? Is that true at all? No, there's no basis to it whatsoever. But, uh... <laughs> What'd you guys have to do to get signed to Distort? We don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, no, um... <laughs> What'd you guys have to do to get signed to Distort? Ooh. Maybe? No? <laughs> what, eat, eat a hot dog? Eat a really big hot dog. <laughs> How do you pick the bands you sign? Like, what's what's your criteria? The live show is the most important aspect, especially in the genre of, you know, hard music and metal. Live has to be it. So that's what I look for the most. Can you talk about, like, the community at Distort? It's a good label. I mean, a lot of labels have, like, 20 bands, and this Distort's got, like, a small handful of really amazing bands, and we're really stoked to be in, in the company. You know, it's cool. We're really happy to have that, uh, you know, be a part of that whole thing because they released some sweet bands. Yeah. What Greg always tries to do, especially when, when he signs with bands, he just says, this is a home, this is a family, you know, let's help each other out. It's just a, a very nice at-home kind of vibe. Every band I work with, you know, goes out of their way to help out the next up-and-coming band because they know what it was like when they first started off. Everyone pitches in and helps each other out. All the bands that we're playing with on this tour are helping us out. It's really nice to be part of it. It's part of it. It feels really special. What are you bringing to the table that is original and new with the genre? I think with a lot of the new stuff, we've, uh, we've actually added in some more singing and stuff, like getting some more melody in there. And we've tried to do something new with a genre that I think is getting quite tiresome at the moment. We've always wanted to be an exciting metal band. Mm. Well, I think it's a sad state of affairs if a band isn't trying to push push a genre and like make it more exciting and do different things. And there's no point in copying it every other band. We should probably just write like really easy going tunes. Yeah, you just, you just need to start singing, man. That's what you need to do. Then I can get back home and when, you know, our mums and dads go, why don't you, why don't you make some songs that make some money? Why is he doing all that screaming nonsense? When I like the one without do... vocals on it. When are you going to do a song like Coldplay? Piss off. <laughs> Basically, is the answer to that.